Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, I wanted to catch up with all of you regarding the Arcade 1-Up Golden Tee XL cabinet that is now available for pre-order here in the United States as well as in Canada for my Canadian viewers. This particular arcade cabinet, there's several reasons why I went ahead and I placed a pre-order today. And I wanted to kind of walk you through all those. And I definitely want to provide your feedback and reactions from a survey I took earlier today, as well as find out in the comments below after the video's over from you why you are or are not picking up this arcade cabinet. For starters, guys, I remember growing up, once my favorite arcade that I visited as a teenager until my early 20s, Galaxy World Arcade in Carroll Stream, Illinois, once that shut down, all of a sudden, here I am, I'm in my mid-20s, and what do we do when we're in our mid-20s, guys? We go to the bars, right? So me and the guys are always going to the bars, and we used to always go to the Village Inn Tavern. It's a small mon pop restaurant with a small mon pop bar inside of it, but what they had there was a golden tea. Now, of course, this golden tea arcade cabinet was one of the more modern golden tea arcade cabinets that had, you know, much better graphics, much better gameplay, connected scores, leaderboards, etc. But that's when I really first experienced the Golden Tee games, and I really enjoyed them. Golfing games, if you've been following this channel for a long time, you guys know I really enjoy playing golfing video games. I really, really like them. And of course, the Arcade 1-Up Golden Tee arcade cabinet that came out a couple of years ago, or a few years ago, I got my money's worth out of that cabinet. That cabinet, I think, was 400 bucks when I got it, and we played the holy hell out of that cabinet. We had a really good time doing it. Over the last few years, it's been one of my favorite Arcade 1-Up cabinets. That particular cabinet I just sold last week. And of course, I'm taking that money from that cabinet that I sold. Took that money, threw it in savings. And sure enough, that I knew this pre-order was coming. Once this pre-order went live, I went ahead and I took 300 of that. And I applied it towards this particular cabinet purchase, right? So $700 cabinet, all of a sudden... I'm technically kind of paying 400 bucks because I got some money from a trade-in swap. But also, I ordered it from Best Buy because I've, I, I've had bad experiences with ordering from Arcade 1-Up directly and having to deal with, you know, hey, if there's an issue with the cabinet, you got to wait for replacement parts. And in today's world, there's still a delay on getting replacement parts and things like that. So in my opinion, it's always better to order from a retailer like Best Buy. In case there's something wrong with the cabinet, I can take that thing right back get a full refund and not have to haggle, worry about customer support, etc. So th this is a game franchise that I've always enjoyed. And, you know, what's really nice about this is particular cabinet is they are giving us some bonuses on it. We are going to get our 19 inch screen, which is a nice little upgrade. We're going to get a light up marquee. They promise the marquees are going to be better and more improved light up marquees. Probably this is going to look similar to the marquee we saw on Kong's R Us channel when he showed off the NBA Jam XL cabinet at the Shack event. I'm assuming we're gonna see the same quality. That marquee actually looked really good for that NBA Jam cabinet. Of course, we're gonna get improved speakers as well as they're giving us the um, speaker grill covers as well, which is nice. Uh, gives it just a nice cleaner look and hopefully these things sound a lot better than these three quarter scale cabinets lately. Uh, taking a look here, they do still have that headphone jack on the pictures right here, and that's what worries me the most is because it does appear that the issues that the issues with these arcade cabinets stem around arcade cabinets that have a headphone jack applied to them, predominantly with these sound issues. So that's my biggest worry is, are we going to have speaker gate on these larger arcade cabinets? On top of that, you know, we're going to get uh, eight games. You're getting Golden Tee 3D 95. It's important to remember it. Although it's a Golden Tee 3D cabinet, it's not the later edition of Golden Tee 3D. It is the older 95 edition, so don't expect an amazing game right here. You're going to get 97, 98, 99, 2K, Golden Tee Classic. And for some extra bonuses to change things up, we're going to get World Class Bowling and Shuffle Shot. And World Class Bowling is a decent arcade bowling game. I do really enjoy playing that. Look forward to playing it on this cabinet. They say larger 3-inch trackball on these pictures and things, but guys, that, that looks to be the same size trackball that comes with the standard Golden Tee cabinet that's already out there in the wild. The cabinet's going to be 100 pounds and 66 inches tall. 
no need for a riser. Looks like we just have multiple panels uh, on this cabinet that you just screw together to give you the full cabinet height and shape. Also, another reason why I want to get this cabinet is when it comes to the XL cabinets, I have zero interest in the Arcade 1UP NBA Jam XL Edition cabinet. As well as, after all this time of thinking about it, I now have zero interest in the Arcade 1UP Killer Instinct Pro Series cabinet. So if I'm going to get one of these larger Arcade 1UP type cabinets, this is the one for me. This is probably the one I'm hoping that I like the most. Definitely want to review it on the channel for you guys. Definitely want to provide you my opinions, as well as if there's one person that points out opportunities for improvement when it comes to these Arcade 1UP cabinets in their reviews, you're looking at them. So I definitely want to tell you the good and the bad and all that kinds of stuff in case you guys are on the fence. As you know me, we love giving you five reasons why you should or should not be picking up some of these cabinets uh, and spending your hard-earned money. These things are getting more and more expensive as time goes by and most of us are becoming more and more selective. I myself had to sell a cabinet in order to decide to buy this cabinet because I just didn't want to pull 700 bucks out of my pocket immediately. I was able to pull out, what, 400 bucks plus tax and took 300 of what I made off the Golden Tea sale and apply it towards this particular cabinet. So that kind of helps, right? I took a survey on my channel and I asked my viewers earlier today, I said, hey guys, the Arcade 1UP Golden Tea XL is now available. The price on this cabinet is $700. Are you going to pick one up? So far, we've gotten 428 vo votes. 8% of you said, hey, I'm all in. Sounds like 8% of you went ahead and placed your orders. 25% said yes, but they're waiting until it goes on sale or they see it secondhand. So not too shabby there. 60% of respondents said, hey, not interested in this cabinet at all. And Michael B., must have a lot of fake Facebook account or, or YouTube accounts because 7% of the votes came from Michael B. And he admitted he had FOMO for this cabinet and that he wasn't going to be able to pick it up. <laughs> Love you, Mike. Adjust it. I'm going to take one for the team. I'm going to give this cabinet a shot. I'm looking forward to upgrading. Let me know what you guys are going to do. Leave those feedback, comments, and reactions below. If you enjoyed the quick video, do me a favor. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And thank you for subscribing.